G'day team, Jeremy Britton, 24 hour wealth coach, down on the beach, just after sunrise, just after meditation, obviously the throat's still relaxed and that's why I sound like that this morning. Just want to um, bring a couple of things to your attention this morning and that is how much of what you think is conscious under your control and how much of what you think is under your subconscious control. Now, when you're doing meditation, when you're doing relaxation, you focus on the breath. And breath is one of those things that we do while we're conscious and also do while we're unconscious. And the Buddhists call it the, the bridge between the two worlds because it's the one thing that you can actually do while you're unconscious and while you're conscious. When you focus on your breath, focus on your breathing, you can still the mind, you can still the heart rate. Uh, many people would say that a lot of bodily functions are under their subconscious control. You can't control your digestion, you can't control your heart rate, you can't control the hardening of your arteries. Well, what if you can? That's the question for you. If I told you that I'm going to snap my fingers and when I do, you've got to jump up, run 100 metres in 20 seconds and then I'll give you $10,000, already your arteries are actually hardening. But thinking about it, your muscles are bracing for the adrenaline to course through your veins which is about to be released. If I told you that I was going to take naked photos of you that had been provided to me by your ex-partner and I was going to put them all over the internet, already you've got some adrenaline rushing through your body. Already you've probably got some blood flow being put into your cheeks because you're going to be embarrassed. Now a lot of these things, the release of hormones, the control of blood flow, are actually under your subconscious control. But by merely changing your thoughts, what you're thinking about, what you're focusing on, you can actually affect these. Uh, if you're sitting in front of someone in a sales situation or in a business situation, and you're focusing on them, you're focusing on their story, what they need, and that is gonna come across in your face, the color of your face, in your breathing, in your heart rate, and yes, they can actually see your pulse point in your neck while you're sitting there in front of them. They might not be consciously looking at it, but subconsciously, the person you're sitting in front of, if they're not fully relaxed, if they're not fully into the situation, then you're going to pick up on it in some level. I guess what I'm trying to do is take the things that are under your subconscious control, that are in your subconscious perception, and bring them into the sub bring them into the conscious mind because many of these things that you think are not out inside of your control are actually inside of your control it's a lot to do with focusing on your thinking focusing on your awareness bringing the subconscious things into the conscious mind and you can actually control and impact a lot more things than what you think you can once you are aware of the amazing potential of the mind then Einstein said we only use 1% or 5% or something like that. What if you could use 10%? What if you could use 8%? What if you could actually put a lot of these subconscious things into your conscious mind, control a lot more than what you think you can control, then you'll start to have huge impacts, huge outcomes, and you'll start to find out why massively successful people can do what they can do. It's not impossible, it just takes a lot of focus, a lot of discipline. Talk to you soon down on the beach or at 24hourwealthcoach.com.